Hi and welcome. Uh, I hope you are good. Uh, this video is about how to sort a pandas data frame on uh, two columns. Uh, so let's move on to the Jupyter Notebook. So I have created a similar video on how to sort a pandas data frame on one column. So I'll put uh, the link to that video in the description. Uh, here uh, to solve this to so to solve this question. I have created a small data frame for this scenario. Uh, so the data frame looks like this. Uh, it has month name. Uh, so all the months of the year and the number of days in those months and the month number. So the code for uh, creating this uh, dummy data set is here. You can, if you want, you, you can just copy paste this and, uh, and create the same uh, data frame. So the objective uh, here is where we want to sort uh, the data frame on two columns. So in this case, I want to sort this uh, data frame on the number of days and month number. So our expected output would look uh, something like this. Uh, so sorting on the first column will first sort on that column. So here in this case, the number of days has been sorted in ascending order. Uh, the first uh, month, February, it has 28 days. So this was not a leap year. And uh, then again, uh, the, the next month has 30 days, 30, 30, and 30. And then again, uh, then 31, all the months which have 31 days. And uh, when it is sorted on the next month, on the, on the month number, so all the groups uh, for that number of days uh, have the month number also sorted in ascending order. So for example, in this case, the number of days is 30. Uh, for all the months, all these four months, and the month number is in ascending order 4, 6, 9, and 11. And similarly, for the number of days, number of months which have 31 number of days, all are grouped into one, uh, and then uh, the, num the month number is sorted in ascending order. So, let's see how we can do this in pandas. Uh, so I'll sort, I'll, so, uh, I'll first uh, sort on number of days and month number, number of days and month number in ascending order. So here I have taken uh, that the data frame, I'll just uh, run it, I'll just run it again, same port pandas, okay, okay, so I have this data frame here. Um, now I want to sort this data frame on number of days and on month number. So for this, I'll be using the method sort underscore values. So we first give the data frame with here in this case is months underscore df, then sort underscore values. And then since we are sorting on two columns, we need to pass the column names in as a list. So the first column is number num underscore of underscore days so let's see what happens if we just give one column name so we can see that uh, the number of days is sorted in ascending order 28 30 31 but the month number are not sorted yet so 4 6 11 and then 9 and then for 31 8 12 1 so it's, it's not sorted but for each of these groups of number of days I want the month number also to be sorted. So all we need to do is with the number of days, I need to give the second column also here. So that is month underscore number. So when I run this, all these uh, number, the month number for each number of days will, will also be sorted. So it will become four, four, six will remain same. Nine will come up and 11 will go down. Similarly, in this case, the one will come up then three then five and so on so let's run this okay so now this data frame is sorted uh, on month on number of days and on month number so when we sort on two columns uh, using sort underscore values it first sorts the data on the first on the column name which is mentioned first and then on the on the column name which is mentioned second now as you can see uh, by default uh, the all the, the the both the columns are sorted in ascending order so let's go on to the second question here 
uh, sort on number of days and month number in ascending order by giving ascending parameter. Now in this case, if we look into sort underscore values by pressing shift tab, we have a parameter called ascending equal to true. So by default, even if we don't mention this parameter here, uh, the data frame will be sorted in ascending order for both the columns. Now, now if we want to explicitly mention this ascending, uh, the ascending order, we can do that as well. So let's do it here. So months underscore df dot sort values. So number of days comma sorry we'll put it in we have we need to put it in the same list month underscore number so this will print this uh, print the data frame now we want to explicitly mention the parameters here so we need to give ascending equal to now since there are two columns we need to again mention whether it's true or false as a list if there was only one column then we just just need to uh, give in true but since there are two columns here so we need to mention true for the first column that means uh, the first column will be sorted in ascending order and then again true that the second column uh, will also be sorted in ascending in ascending order okay so uh, now let's see the output it should be the same okay so it, it is the same uh, so we can explicitly men mention this parameter ascending equal to uh, true true now coming on to the next question suppose we want to sort this sort this data frame like uh, i'll read through this sort on number of days in descending order and month number in ascending order so what this means is for this data frame okay let's let's uh, print this data frame the original data frame here okay so when we sort the data frame in descending order for number of days the 31 will come on the top for all the uh, months which have number of days as 31 so in this case 31 will go up 30 will remain the same in the middle because there are only three uh, groups here and then uh, 28 should would come down so how would we do that here so just uh, we need to mention ascending equal to false for the first column so we can do that do that like this months underscore df dot sort underscore values we give in the column names and month number and we need to mention the parameter a s c e n t i n g equal to now the first we want it on uh, as in descending order so we just need to give false and the second the month number is in ascending order so we just need to put in true okay so let's see what happens okay so the number of days is ascend is sorted in uh, descending order that means uh, the biggest number comes on the top and the lowest number goes down but uh, the month number is, uh, is still in the in ascending order so all the months number where uh, for example in this case 1 is on the top and 12 is in the bottom for this group uh, now coming on to the next question I want to sort the month number as well in descending order just like we are doing a number of days in descending order so both of the both of them both the columns number of days and number of uh, the month number would be in descending order so i have written it down here sort on number of days in descending order and month number also in descending order so i'll just copy this because we need to change only one thing here so we mentioned the the uh, column both the column names ascending equal to false here also we will put it false so whenever we want to sort any data frame on in ascending order any column in a, uh, in that data frame in descending order we just need to mention that parameter ascending as false so let's see what's the output okay so both number of days and month number are in descending order so for this one uh, 31 is coming first 
and then within 31 the months month numbers are sorted in descending order similarly for the number of days as 30 all these four the month number is the, uh, the month numbers are sorted in descending order okay so let's write down the summary again before i finish this video okay to sort a data frame in on two columns we need to df so this data frame is let's say df so we need to do df dot sort underscore values we need to pass in a list of the column names so let's call this column underscore name one and then column underscore name two okay so this is the default uh, the syntax for sort underscore values now the same thing can be written as equal to ascending equal to true true so both the data frames so both the columns will be sorted in ascending order okay now in case we want the first only the first uh, column to be sorted in uh, uh, sorry if we want the first column to be sorted in ascending order and the second column in descending order oh sorry let, let's do the way we did in the video now the first column is in descending order and the second column is in ascending order so to do that we just need to put it false here and if we want both the columns to be sorted in um, descending order we just need to put in false so this is let's call it ascend uh, I'll, I'll type the full name full word ascending ascending this is descending and ascending order and then this is descending order on the first column and descending order in the on the second column as well so this was the these this is the summary of uh, of everything which we have done here so we first sorted both in ascending order with the default parameters then again ascending order uh, with by mentioning the ascending parameter explicitly then sorting the first column in descending order and the second one in ascending order and then both in descending order so uh, this was the video on sorting how on how to sort a pandas data frame uh, on two columns uh, i hope it was useful uh, thank you and take care